Alicia here. Today I want to walk you through how to add metadata to your images. This is a request that we get a lot um, just because it's so great for SEO and it's just a very simple thing to do. Anyone can do it and get you know better rankings, especially specifically in the image section of Google. So the first thing that I would recommend doing, um, if you have a Mac, it's not the easiest to add metadata to images. If you have a PC, it's really easy. Um, so the easiest way that we found to add for a Mac is actually to use Photoshop. So I'm gonna walk you through that process today. So the first step I would say in doing metadata is to create like a boilerplate or a template that you can use every time. So that way you don't have to constantly pull this information. So right now I'm showing YMPs template that we use. Um, so the first thing we have is a headline. This headline can be more dynamic. You can add in you know, additional keywords. You can change it based off of the blog post or the product or even change it um, you know, based off of what the image is showing. So you kind of can play around with this part. Then I would say the more boilerplate, the more boilerplate information is the address as well as a blurb about yourself. And again, this is there are keywords in here. Um, that's kind of why we have this blurb there, but it's also readable. Um, and then below that, you will have your links. So these are links that are important to you that you want to get ranked. Um, so yes, so this is all your information. So first, I would create a boilerplate for your company. And then the next steps, I will show you what to do. So the next thing we're going to do is open Photoshop. And you're going to go ahead and open the image. So it's very easy. File open, find your image and open it. Um, to add the metadata, you're going to go to File, File Info. Um, and then here you'll see all the fields that you have available. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my boilerplate. And I'm just gonna copy and paste it over. It's very easy to do. Since this is like an, a phone and mobile, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in more information because it's not just about us. So e-commerce, mobile, marketing. Um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna actually just copy that down to the author title and the description writer. Then under the author, we're just going to add ourselves and you'll see here how it drops down. So as you start filling these out and saving images, you will have drop down. So it makes it even easier. Um, and then for the description, that's where the majority of the template is going to go. So let's go ahead and copy this information all the way down. And then we're going to go ahead and go here and paste it. Then for the stars, we're going to give ourselves five stars because why not? We don't want to give ourselves anything less. Um, and then keywords, this is really important um, for different keywords that you want. So let's go ahead and add some in. So it's mobile marketing. Let's go ahead and add in Orange County. Digital marketing agency. I would just add a couple, um, a handful or so. So let's put in digital marketing. Again, it'll pop down here so you can pick them from down here. Go ahead and click OK. And that's how you add it. It's really that easy. Since I have you, um, a couple tips here. This image, when you get from Shutterstock, is way too large. So you can go in here and go ahead and change the size. Um, I would, like, 4,000 is way too large. It's going to slow down your site. So let's go ahead and change it to 600. Again, um, this will vary based off of what is needed on your website. So find out from your web developer on the size um, that you'll need. And go ahead and change that. So that's one thing. But another thing with Shutterstock is they always label this horrible <laughs> Shutterstock, Shutterstock label. So always change the name of it um, so that it also helps with SEO. So, you know, you want to rename it. So let's go to file um, or actually, sorry, save as. And then let's go ahead and save on our computer. And then let's go ahead and just save it. Maybe e-commerce, oh, e-commerce mobile. Um, e-commerce marketing. You can just do something very simple. It's okay. And then click save. Um, and there you go. There's your image and all you have to do is upload it to your WordPress site. I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Lane, who's going to walk through how to add metadata using a PC, which is a whole lot easier. Lane Burns with your marketing people. Today, I wanted to walk through how to add metadata to your images from a PC. Um, so the first stage is going to be creating your boilerplate. Um, so you want to have a template that you can use every time. Um, you will make some changes like the name of the title as well as any additional or new keywords that you want to go after. Um, so that first part is going to be creating a title. So here, as an example, Orange County Digital Marketing Agency. You can use a blog topic idea or something that describes the image, whatever you'd like to use for your title here. The next section is going to be your company contact information and address. So you'll have 
your company address, as well as an email that you'd like to add. And then the next phase is going to be a blurb about your company. Um, so here you'll add in a few sentences and incorporate your keywords that you want to target in this blurb. And then the last section is going to be links that you want to rank for. So your website, your social media profiles, any blog links that you'd like to add, et cetera. Once you have that template ready, um, you're going to find your image. So you'll go to your drive and here mine is saved on my desktop. Um, so I would right click, go to properties. Um, this is where you're going to go ahead and add in that title. And then you'll add in details is where you'll also need to incorporate all of the metadata. So you'll take that title, put that in the title section as well as subject, rate, you can put five stars, tags, these are the keywords that you want to go after, so digital marketing. And then you'll want to put author, so you would add yourself here, so your marketing people, it's already saved. If you um, want to use the name of the author, you can do that as well. And then for comments, that's where you're going to paste your entire blurb. So you'll take this, including the links, and that's where you're going to paste that in. And you'll click Apply, and then hit OK, and you're all set.